up. Sarah Ferguson orders Meghan and Harry to quit all megabuck deals to not repeat fatal mistake. Prince Harry, 37 and Meghan Markle, 40 are claimed to be following a similar path to Sarah Ferguson after she split with Prince Andrew. The Sussexes would be advised by the Duchess of York to not repeat her mistakes, a royal expert has claimed. Sarah Ferguson, also known by the moniker Fergie, married the Duke of York in 1986, but six years later their marriage ended in scandal. Sarah sent shockwaves through the royal family after a series of compromising images were released in the press, just weeks after announcing her split from Prince Andrew. Royal podcaster Gertrude Daly claims Harry and Meghan may face similar challenges to the Duchess of York following the controversy she caused in the 90s. It comes after the Sussexes announced they would be stepping back from senior royal duties in 2020. Gertrude Daly, who runs the Gertz Royal podcast, claims the Duke and Duchess of Sussex likes era, are trying to make it on their own. Become financially independent, face intense media scrutiny, and a public that both hates and loves them. The royal commentator told the Daily Star, Duchess Sarah also had to navigate the minefield of sort of still being a royal and having a title, but no longer being an HRH or working royal, and losing the perks that come with that. She claims that Harry and Meghan may be following a similar path to Fergie although maybe not consciously, as both were stripped of royal titles and could work on projects outside of the firm. Ms. Daly pointed out similarities between Sarah Ferguson and the Sussexes, including their work on charitable ventures, writing books and becoming a spokesperson. She said, Duchess Sarah post-separation from Prince Andrew lived part-time in the US, wrote books, became a spokesperson, founded her own charity and companies, produced TV and films, and continued to make charitable visits both in the UK, the US and abroad. The commentator also suggested that Duchess Sarah would advise the couple on life post-Mexit, claiming she would tell them to think things through carefully, as she made a lot of mistakes and regretful decisions post-divorce. She also claimed that Fergie would advise the couple to consider the long-term financial prospects of life outside the firm. She said, she would also advise them to save and live within their means, as a lot of her poor decisions were financially motivated. Meanwhile, Richard Fitzwilliams, a royal author, says the Sussexes' rift with the royal family continues to be very wide at the moment, eight months on from their explosive Oprah interview. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle continue to drift apart from the royal family as the rift still seems very wide at the moment. Since their explosive departure, the relationship between the ex-royal couple and the royal family has continued to sour, particularly since the explosive Oprah Winfrey interview earlier this year. Harry and Meghan's controversial chat with the talk show legend aired in the UK on March 8 and received a staggering 5,380 Ofcom complaints by the end of the month. And while the Sus the TV show saw Harry and Meghan airing their complaints and feelings about the monarchy, including a claim that one member had made remarks of their son Archie's skin, the royal family denied accusations of racism. Richard Fitzwilliams, a royal commentator and author, says the rift caused by their departure and that destructive interview doesn't seem to be fixed yet. He told the Daily Star, the rift in the royal family does not, so far as we know, appear to have been resolved. They initially had huge support after the extremely destructive interview with Oprah. A lot of what they said, whilst portraying themselves as victims, never stood up to scrutiny. The commentator goes on to say that the Sussexes remain unpredictable in their decisions and movements. Harry is writing his autobiography late next year, what, I wonder, will that contain, he said. Quite literally anything could happen. The couple's deal with Netflix is reportedly worth $100 million, and according to their website, through their creative partnership with the streaming service, their creative partnership.